and my dad comes saying to me, are you alright? Are you okay? All I could say was, let's do that again. <laughs> and that's what my dad's like, ugh, no. And we I haven't seen that wagon in ages. But yeah, we got that unscathed, and I like landed on dirt and wood. Apparently we had guardian angels that were like, oh shit, break time's over man, these these kids are finally learning to do stuff. Well, I'll tell you about my recent orienteering meet, right? Yeah. Yeah, that branch that was close. <laughs> yeah, the branch. Let the viewers uh, know about the branch. I told you about it too, right Brian? The branch that almost got me. Oh yeah. That would have yeah. hurt. Well, for viewers. Going on an orienteering meet. It's, you know, regular day. But they say, hey, you uh go to these points, you know, get these, blah blah blah. You know, friends like that first hill right there, it's really tall. Climb it, because you know, oh well. So we rush up there to see who can get up there first, and I win. Well, the first point is back down the hill, so we gotta go down. We decide, you know what, it's all muddy, slippery, slick, let's just slide down. Well, we start sliding, catch ourselves on a branch or two. Well, lost the footing slid down and this branch is coming at me while I'm going pretty fast and like my foot got caught under it while I grabbed it with my hand at the same time it was about maybe like a fist length away from impaling my throat oh man I was freaking out <laughs> <laughs> I probably would too you know branch was close to almost stabbed me in the throat but you know regained my composure what ended up passing my I ended up regaining my composure got calm passed those people that left me behind a possibly guy <laughs> and ran up and caught up with Eric and then we went through the tunnel of love <laughs> went through the tunnel of love together what you and Eric yeah we went through the tunnel of love together. We came out victorious. <laughs> and then I beat him to the finish line because he didn't want to run. Wow. Lazy bum. Oh. Sounds like Eric. Alright. Then, <laughs> Brian. I mean, we're, we're going to do this until we think of something else to do. Like sleep? <laughs> Maybe. Not or. Vindictus. Yeah, or go to Vindictus. That's what we were going to do whenever we finished patching. <laughs> well, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure it is now. What happened? ADD kicked in. That's what happened. Yep. Okay. Um. I don't know if there's any more uh, camp stories. Uh, any more boob seven. stories, Brian? How what? could you? What? what the, I said any more boob stories, Brian? How could you? I said camp <laughs> stories. <laughs> and I'm a guy. <laughs> Whoop de do. Uh, hmm. Huh. You guys ever had that one crush that you had forever? Yeah. This uh, is gonna be my next. This is gonna be the next session. Uh, <laughs> relationships. Oh boy. Yeah. Childhood relationship stories. Yeah. Shit. Hmm. Brian doesn't have any of those. We can just skip him. Oh fuck yourself. Um. <laughs> <laughs> 
but just because you said that, you start. <clears throat> yeah, no, no current girlfriend stories. That's for later. We're, just, we're looking What's at childhood. Uh, Alright. What's considered well, current? Uh, current is like, you know, now Me girlfriends and, and stuff. Yeah, like him and Tiffany. None of those. Right. Those are for later. All right, Fair enough. Well, you know, Liz Econ? Who? Liz Econ? Yeah, Elizabeth Con. Well, me and her have been friends since, like, kindergarten. And it was, I think, sixth grade after me and Allie Drain broke up. Drain? Yeah. Shit, I didn't know that one. Mm. Yeah, she's my first girlfriend. Well, after we broke up, like literally the day me and her broke up, Lizzie asked me out. Cause I was gonna ask her out, but the second she heard, she was like, rushed to me. Cause it turns out she liked me as much as I liked her. You know what sucks? What? Seventh grade. She was like, I'm moving. Now me, being the kid I was, I hated the word moving because all my friends who had moved before, I never saw again. Even now, I don't see them anymore. So, we broke up. No! And the worst thing ever is that she came back. But when she came back, she apparently liked someone else. Damn. Damn. Damn, damn. <laughs> I know where that's from. The guy eating a freaking, what was it, Burger King? Like, Alright, um, Gary, your turn. Alright. So, it's, it's getting close to, again, this is the same grade, you know, where I do that little head bang on the gym, in the gym. Except, okay. this is about two months at, two months after. So, I like, I really like this girl from like, fifth grade. And, for Valentine's, I got her a, te a teddy bear. You know, not, not no big one, just like, one for Valentine's Day, had a little heart on it. Saying, be mine and stuff. The usual. Comes seventh grade, we had a dance, and I'm like, I already know who I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna finally... You know, be a man and ask her. So it's like three days before it. All of a sudden, I'm getting ready to ask her. She comes up into to me. And she says probably the words opposite of what I was going to say. Leave me alone. No, she says don't ask me to the dance. And I'm just like. All I could say was okay. Because I was like, what the hell? I was oh, about to. you were going to say, and then it processed. <laughs> and then it processed. No. <laughs> no, it already processed to me, both in my brain and to my heart, which is why I'm what I am now. I thought you were going to say to your brain and then to your uh... <laughs> brain. No. That, that, that guy down there wasn't even thought of until eighth grade. Hmm. Poor fella. Yeah. Alright. And basically... Basically, I was as cold as ice all throughout 7th grade. Like, I did yeah. not give a fuck about well, anything. That's how I was, too. I mean, every I time... happy-go-lucky. <laughs> every time I saw a girl after that, I'm like, ah, whatever. You're just gonna be like, you know, don't do shit. So yeah, that's mine. How about yours, Brian? You got it? Alright, are we looking for traumatizing, breakups, or actually Anything. went well? All of the above, Brian. This is fr this is free balling. Anything goes. Hmm. Brian? I'm thinking which one to tell. Did you guys hear that? Blood? What did you do? Nothing. What did you do? Nothing. Did you place down TNT? No. 
Did a creeper fall? Maybe. This, did a creeper fall from the Improvised sky? Improvised TNT. <laughs> <laughs> I turned off my music, so I don't know what the heck's going on in there. Um. <clears throat> hmm. Told you Brian didn't have any. <laughs> Damn right. Oh, you're, gonna, you're gonna break a um, you're gonna break a brain vessel. I'm Think any harder. Which one to do? Because this one lasted like a year. Just make it a short a version. Um Just summarize it like I did. Summarize? Okay. Uh you know Amber? Who? Crabtree. Yeah. Okay. Um I think it was fifth grade. Oh. Maybe it's around sixth grade. Um, go over to her house and just riding around, you know, stupid stuff as a fifth grader. Um, nothing too interesting, really, except, uh, I guess the neighborhood bad boy comes along, and I'm just like, fuck, how's this gonna turn out? <coughs> Basically, um, no wait, I'm thinking of it wrong. Um, no shit. Hmm. Fifth grade's all a blur. Hmm. Tell me about it. Yeah. Too much pot brownies. <laughs> Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> um. <laughs> hmm. Do you know uh, that thing, <laughs> Neopets? Yeah. No, wait, shit. That story's no good either. <sighs> okay, let's try something more recent. Hmm. Um. Brown bone to check. There. It's